When I told you I was about to launch an automated webinar solution, your initial reaction was, <laughs> so you mean I need to get eWebinar and Zoom? So why did you have that reaction and, and what were you thinking at the time? Yeah, I think you'll never let me uh, live that down, right? That <laughs> no. <laughs> initial, that initial part. Well, I, I don't think, you know, honestly, was like, I grokked it at first. I thought that this was just a, you're making a webinar software that was easier to record and publish, right? And I was like, well, okay, I mean, is that is that a lot? And then I remember when we were setting up the meeting, you said, I'll call you in Zoom. I'm like, well, hold on a second. Why you have to have Zoom too? I don't. I I just didn't grok it at first, right? And I think um, you'd sent me a video you had done, and probably I think the first three minutes we started talking, I'm like, oh my god, this is so amazing. I thought it was like you're making it easier to post recorded videos in a sense, right? I didn't get the yeah. interactivity. I didn't get the the time frame kind of aspect of it. The asynchronization part about it i didn't grok all of that it was only until we started talking and and I, that i really kind of the, it was really just a light bulb moment that came off for me for sure well i certainly did not want to compete with a hundred billion dollar company <laughs> so i had i think i had enough sense to do that but you went from like i don't really know why this is valuable to i really think i can make use of this pretty quickly i mean like you said in a minute so what was the thing that really flipped the switch for you as we were talking well, I mean, as you said, we did a lot of uh, a lot of webinars already and had success with them, right? Um, but they were big productions. We had to, you know, um, plan them, rehearse them, and I mean, that's obviously a little thing, but or a thing with any video you're creating. But the other part was is that it caused it was a it was a big time suck, and it was like one and done. We could send out a recording, but you know, that wasn't really like that live experience. People want that kind of interactivity, I think really helps uh, helps drive that. But when we when we were looking at all the different solutions out there, uh, there was nothing out there that we could really see that would have that interactivity, right? It had to be live. It had to be live. It had to be live. We were yeah. doing probably, I think at first we started with like every day we would do a live video, like to run through our products. And the things that people liked about that was that there was an anonymous nature to it. So they could be, maybe they were looking at our, our software products, but didn't want to really get a full demo from a sales guy. So they would, yeah. you know, they would go on to these like daily webinars and just get a, get a view without having to be to have the pressure. And then they would reach out going, okay, I saw a demo. This is pretty cool. Let's do this. So I knew that was, that was kind of working, but you know, it took a guy every day, you know, yeah. probably two hours out of his day to kind of do those every day. Right. And yeah. then we started lessening them down to, you know, maybe twice a week and that, you know, didn't bring as much uh, leads in as well. So um, it was it was all these things together. It just solved a lot of problems for us. I, I like to equate webinars to open houses, where it's like low commitment, you poke your head in, and then when you're ready to engage, then you reach out. 